Hello everyone, this is John from Civil Center. Welcome to our channel. As we know, Civil Center is continuously working with the vision to guide civil engineering student and professional. And for that, we keep making videos on different topics and on different software related to civil engineering field. So we have started a series on G plus one building detailing using particular structures. And in this, what we are going to do, we will take a live example of G plus one building and there we will learn how to do the detailing. Okay, after that, we will also learn how to generate the detailed drawing. And in this series, we have already completed a lot of steps, like how you can modify the grid lines, how you can use the different commands, like the edit command and the view command. Along with that, what are the different tools that are embedded in these commands? And we have learned how to model the different instruction members. We have also covered how you can provide the reinforcement in the footing and the column. So now in this session, we are going to discuss about the next structural member that is beam. Okay. So we are going to learn how you can provide the reinforcement in beam using the application. Okay. So guys, if you are liking this series, then hit the like button, share it with your friends and colleagues and subscribe to our channel and to learn each and everything you have to just focus a lot in this video so just don't get disturbed while watching the video and definitely practice after watching the session so let's start so we have covered this part in the last session that means we have covered how to provide the reinforcement in the circular column and before that we have also discussed about how to provide the reinforcement in rectangular column so now we are going to work on the beams okay so first of all let's expand the view and for that just go over here and click on fit to the entire area of the model then control p to switch the view and over here we will see where we have provided the reinforcement in the columns so you can see here we have our reinforcement you can also like uh, change the view if you want to do that and then you can just uh, jump from one view to another view like this and if you want to get back to the 3d view then just come to the center and click over there okay then the next thing that you can do over here is you can just uh, change the depth on the top and the bottom so like uh, you want to go for a depth of 5000 let's say so just hit enter and you will also see the footings over here so over here you can see we have provided the footings with the three different methods and now we are going to provide the reinforcement in a beam okay so we are going to select this beam so let's click on this you can also just press ctrl and 4 to switch the view and then just go to the tile vertically views okay so like this you can just go ahead and see all the views over here okay now you can go to view and click on work area now to selected parts in all the views so you will see that everything has been zoomed over here now you can also close the unnecessary views over here like this i can just click on and uh, change the view you can also create the views from here so let's expand this one and check on what axis it is lying so it is lying along the axis 2 and along the axis e so we have already created the views over here now we can just go ahead and click on tile vertically now we can simply go over here work area and do selected part in all views so you'll see the selected part will be zoomed over here okay now we are about to provide the reinforcement so for that we will follow the simplest step of going to the application and component box and from there we will start looking for the reinforcement application okay so just go over here and look for application number 63 so beam reinforcement there it is 
so let's open this and you will see this application will open up now you can just go ahead and click over here now you can see we have our beam over here okay so we can just start doing the modification so let's see what are the different things that are present in this view now you can see we have three bars over here and you want to modify this like you want to change the size of the bar then you can just go over here and you can select the bar that you wish to select like you want to go for a 16 m dia bar that are three in number then you can simply come over here and click on modify and you can see the bars have been changed now now next thing that you can do over here you can change the cover let's say you want to provide a 30 mm cover in this so you can just provide the cover like this you have to just make the changes and specify the places where you want to change the cover then click on modify and you can see the cover thickness has been changed now next thing that you can change is the stir up like uh, here we have 8 mm dia stir ups and you want to make it 10 mm dia stir up then you can also go ahead and provide a 10 mm dia stir up like this or if you want to provide 8 mm dia stir up and that two of a 500 then you can also specify that okay now click on modify next thing is this one okay so if you want to provide some kind of support bars then you can also provide that so suppose you want to provide the support bars of 8 mm dia again and that two of a 500 then you can just specify it from here and if you want to just change the distance then you can also do that like you want to provide 100 mm dia support bars then you can provide that like this okay so you have to simply select the reinforcement and click on modify and you will see the support bars have been increased because you have reduced the spacing okay and if you don't want any kind of support bars you can simply just ignore this thing okay now it comes to the bottom bar so over here we have this bottom bar of 25 m dia and three in numbers then you can simply just provide that or if you want to change that then you can also make it 16 m bar dia bar okay so you have to go for if you 500 then 16 mm dia main bar and you can click on okay then click on modify and you can see this has been changed over here okay next thing that you can do is you can decide the type of stud that you are being providing over here like you want to go for this one then click on modify and you will see the type of stud has been changed okay then top bar placing okay so what is the arrangement of the bars that you want to place everything can be defined from here and you can simply use that okay next how to link the bars and what are the type of stickers uh, stud ups that you want to use over here that you can define from there let's change this cover also to 30 and click on modify and you can see the cover has been changed mark over here okay i will just change it again let's make it 60 just to uh, show you the difference okay and this has been changed to 60 now let's make it 30 because that is the usual spacing for the cover however minimum is 25 but you can also provide 30 okay now if you want to add another row to it then you can also do that like suppose you want to get two more reinforcement at this distance okay so let's say you want to go for 12 mm dia reinforcement then you can simply click over here and you will see that a 12 mm dia bar has been added over here as another row okay now you can also specify the distance like you want to get it at a distance of 100 mm then click on modify and this will go up by 100 mm so like this you can just add three number of rows over here 
so whatever you wish to do you can simply do it over here now next thing is what kind of hooks do you want okay so you can simply change the type of the hooks what do you mean by hooks that means this one okay so over here let's uh, just have a look okay like you want to go for this type of hook that is actually being used over here you can also specify the angle you can specify the radius okay so to do that you will have to choose another type of hook like if you are going for this type or this type then you can do the changes if you are going for simply this hook, type of hook then you don't need to change all this now you can change the bar and curve okay so like you want to make it 200 so you can just go over and click on modify and you will see that it is being made at 200 if you want to make it like 500 then you can also click on modify and it will like synchronize like this now if you want to extend it to this direction then what you will have to do you will have to simply go for minus say 200 and click on modify and you will see this is being extended over here now let's make it minus 300 on this side and also minus 300 on this side okay so like this you can just make the changes let's do the same for like 300 minus 25 so let's say minus 275 and minus 275 on the top and you can also make it 90 and 90 for the bottom other rows and for the first row also minus 275 minus 275 let's give it 300 and 300 and let it be straight now click on modify and you can see this is how it is being modified over here so like this you can just do the modification okay next thing is straight up spacing at what is space you want your straight ups like you want uh, suppose eight straight ups spaced at 100 mm then the rest at 300 mm and again in the zone three you want to make it a spaced at 300 again then you want to just click on modify and you will see this has been modified like this now in zone one two and three you will get the modification or you can just do it like this if you don't want to provide any kind of number then you can just leave this like this or if you want to provide any kind of numbers then you can simply provide it like this now in the advanced section you can just provide the name class prefix and start number that we have already uh, understood for the other things uh, like uh, the previous sessions in the columns and the, in the footings we have learned about each and everything then so guys i hope you are liking this session and if you like this then hit the like button share it with your friends and colleagues and subscribe to our channel along with that if you want to start your career as a consultant then you can simply just go ahead and find a link in the description where you will get a free webinar on how you can become a consultant go there check it out and register yourself thank you